And then we can just start now yeah. before we waste time. Alright guys, welcome, welcome. Hope it's cool. We're just recording it for content, just so we can record it and share with other people. But um, Andrew, go ahead, introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Andrew. I run a video production company here in the IE and in the high desert. And uh, we just work with local businesses. Uh, Mateo actually taught me how to use LinkedIn and I was able to land my first marketing, reach out to a marketing director and land my first big client at the college at San Bernardino Valley College. And uh, this is Mateo and he can introduce himself. So funny enough, story about us, we actually met through TikTok. So we both do video production, we both were posting content and because of social media, like we're here in front of you today. So like just a subtle reminder that like social media is like really powerful. Hopefully it can connect you with like your next client or your next employer, or in this case, like social media connected us to, and yeah. like now we're really good friends. Uh, we've been able to help each other out. So like, that's kind of how I want to start today is like social media is like super powerful and you have no idea who might see your content, who might see your profile and like what kind of opportunities you can get from it. And when I say opportunities, it's more than just like money. It's like a job, it's attention. So um, yeah, so today we want to just kind of learn more about like what you guys are looking for and maybe um, how you could use LinkedIn to achieve your objective, right? And your objective could be landing a job, uh, getting a client if you're a business owner or you know, you just want to do some digital networking, right? So I'll ask um, any of you guys like, what are you guys looking for and what's your experience with LinkedIn? And it could be totally like, use it a couple times, barely have used it, or I, hey Mateo, I don't even know what LinkedIn is. What, what comes to mind uh, to any of you guys? What is? What is LinkedIn? Yeah. Are you familiar, have you used it at all? No. Okay, no worries. I know you had some specific thoughts about LinkedIn. <laughs> Feel free to. Not necessarily the greatest, but uh, I downloaded LinkedIn because I was told that's where to go to get a job at Amazon. Okay. And my past uh, about 15 years of experience is driving a truck. Okay. I can't do that anymore, so I've got to find go back to warehousing, which is my three, 10 years of experience before that. I have not been having any luck so far. Okay. I put in like San Bernardino. Excuse me. Within 25 miles of San Bernardino, it comes up with stuff in Illinois. Mm, I hate when that happens. Okay. Um, so it won't give me anything local. Um, okay. On my emails, it's sending me stuff that's local. Okay. But that's only been the past couple days. Got it. And how much of your profile do you feel like you've like added like details and like job experience, maybe education? Um, education doesn't give me the opportunity to say I didn't finish my degree. It just is okay. What college have you been to? What degree do you have? It doesn't say didn't complete. It just says associate. BA, Masters, it doesn't give you the option of saying sure. you didn't finish. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of stuck on that mm -hmm. and I've added 36, 37 skills now. Okay. So I am starting to get a few responses probably because of that. Sure. It's also good uh, to have, if you have any friends on LinkedIn or someone that you know, to um, endorse those skills, endorse those skills and then, um, yeah, you would actually not rank higher, but how do it shows you more. Those skills? So once you put a skill, I don't know what what would skill that you had put on there, just one. Uh, inventory control, inventory management. Um, so it's pretty much like a referral. Like if you know a friend or know somebody that knows that you've done that, they can endorse it. Like hey, he does know this and he's really good at that skill. Mm -hmm. So now when they look at that skill, there's proof of someone else that certified it. Right. All my references from when I was actually doing that. Okay. Are all gone. So I have them that retired. Hmm. Um, Are you still like pretty close with them? Like, no. no? Okay. No, the only one that I actually did work with that I still have contact with is my ex-wife. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. So I'm going to tell you guys a story and then maybe this might help. So like, I would say a couple of years ago, Andrew was working at a job and he was just starting his video production company and I was like, Andrew, you need to get on LinkedIn. And when I say you need to get on LinkedIn, I don't just mean like just signing up and doing the bare minimum. When I say use LinkedIn, honestly, it's like 
creating your profile, really investing time to like, make sure you have a good profile picture, make sure your bio has a little bit of context of like your work experience, what you've done. Um, you can even add prior job experience. And I know for you, maybe you may not have completed school, but you could still put that you went to school during these years and these years. Because the idea is LinkedIn started off as a job board, right? It was just a platform for you to go and apply to jobs. Now it's kind of evolved to where it's a social media platform. So not only can you build out your profile and apply to jobs, but you could also do research. You can type in the names, the title of companies, the certain people, uh, you could see who's the recruiter for Amazon, right? All that information is publicly available to you. And a lot of it is kind of going out and like connecting with new people, posting content. So Andrew, when he first got on LinkedIn, I told him, dude, you need to go on your profile. You need to put that you were a videographer for your last company, that you did content for Toyota, that you did this for this, right? And even though it wasn't, let's say, what he thought would be helpful or what he wanted to do. Uh, I would say like two weeks after just investing time into his profile, somebody went onto LinkedIn and they typed in, I need a videographer in Victorville. And because Andrew took his time to like really refine his profile out, uh, optimize his profile, somebody actually landed on his page, was able to see his work experience and message him and say, hey, Andrew, you're a really good fit. I saw you're in Victorville. Can, are you interested in applying for this role? And so the idea here is like, there's opportunities out there. I would say taking time to you know, invest in your profile and really build that out. But um, posting content is actually another way to get visibility, right? Publishing content, maybe some photos of, of stuff that you've done, writing a blog article, but also like connecting with people, right? So you can actually search for people, search for companies and connecting with them. So it's more than just like applying for jobs. A lot of it's like investing in your profile, publishing content, and for people that are looking for your skill sets, like building out your profile will allow you to like come up on the search when somebody is looking for somebody with inventory experience in Fontana, enter. If you have those keywords on your profile, if you have those things, you're going to come up on a search, right? So, you know, as equally as you're looking for opportunities on LinkedIn, there's, there's recruiters that are looking for certain keywords and categories and job experience and locations that you can populate on the other end of a search just by your profile being thoroughly put together, right? And you might say, Mateo, like the last job that I had was like, delivery driving for dominoes like put that if you don't have any other experience if that's what you've honestly done like recruiters can see that oh wow he's held the job for so long or he has customer service experience right so when andrew was first building out his profile he didn't think that his social media marketing experience at a company that he did five years ago would be relevant, but when he put it on his profile, if you look on his profile today, you can see, oh, in 2013, Andrew worked here. In 2014, he worked here. And so as a recruiter, as an employer, you're looking at those things and you're like, hey, Andrew might be a good fit for this role. Let me message him, let me connect with him, right? So the idea is, instead of you guys trying to, trying to go out and hunt for jobs, you wanna like optimize your profile and like attract the jobs that you want through social media. So I'll leave it to Andrew too, like when you first started using LinkedIn, like what stuck out to you? And like when you got that message from a recruiter, what was your thought? Like what was going through your head when you're like, I just started and somebody found me and yeah. you know, what, what, what's any advice here when you first yeah. got started? Cause it's kind of an interesting platform. So same thing with you. I didn't know what LinkedIn was. I was like, LinkedIn, it's just for job searching. That's it when Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, it's more like for fun to, you know, post personal stuff or connect with family or friends. LinkedIn's the complete opposite. It's, it's still the same, but it's a little bit more professional. So I, Mateo showed me that and it's not just job searching. You can connect with these decision makers who hire, who do these interviews with you guys instead of Instead of just going in an interview and then, oh yeah, I do this and this, okay, next person. You can actually connect with that person and then they look at your page, both you guys' page, hey, this person has this experience, 
your header also, your name, and then your header has, you know, the keywords that you've done truck trucking. Have you, you have any? Do you have any experience? In anything? If not, it's okay. You can even put, I'm interested in getting into this field yeah. and I'm motivated. Yeah. So you're not, you can still have that and people will see it like, that's perfect for an intern, whether it's paid or just an intern, that's it. So you can, so uh, the way that works is now you can connect with those decision makers and then those decision makers will just look at your page and then just message you directly. You guys can still come in. Yeah, that's perfect. Sorry, yeah, come on in. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So I think the idea is like, you guys are probably here because you're looking for an employment. You're looking for jobs, right? Like, there's one avenue, right? You can go and you can meet people in person. You could fill out a form and you could submit it, right? Which I think is something that you could do. But how do we scale that? How do we how do we do that in a way where you can do ten of those online, right? Yeah. So I think the idea is like LinkedIn. If you, again, invest time into building out your profile, being very strategic and specific about the kind of opportunities that you're seeking, and you can go on Amazon. Amazon has a LinkedIn company page. I could, from there, see the, the jobs that Amazon has available on LinkedIn. If I look at the job. They have really had anything. They, with that, what, I'm sorry? They really haven't had anything. Yeah? Yeah, I've been, I've, I put the Amazon and associates as keywords. Okay. And uh, it comes back with manager or sure. it comes up with Illinois or something like that. Well, I think you could also kind of take it a step further. Like, okay, maybe you might not find a position at Amazon, but like, what is the, the, the name of the position, right? Inventory specialist, right? So maybe right. use some of That's those really keywords. And so kind of keep it wide, because if you type in Amazon on jobs, it's just going to show you Amazon jobs, right? What if you take it a step further and you're like something a little bit more broad or, or generic that will still kind of align with your experience and skills? Maybe it might not be Amazon that has an available position, but you're using kind of like these keywords that you, you know you have experience with, right? So uh, I also thought that it was supposed to auto-populate for your resume. Mm -hmm. Um, it has been doing that. It's yeah. It'll. I think it'll save my resume and put it out there for the employer. But then I still have to go back and put out all the previous employment stuff myself. Mm. Yeah. I think another step further, guys, like the supply of candidates and the the, the supply of jobs is like it's, it's there's more, more people candidates. that are looking for jobs than there are jobs, right? So it's like, how do I? fight for attention how do i do more than just apply right mm -hmm. and so the idea with how do you with, stand, yeah. do you stand so i think linkedin yes it's a place for you to apply and and if they move forward with you or not that's kind of like a decision they have to make but linkedin is cool because i could see okay who's the recruiter for this role who is the decision maker that can give me a shot that can give me an interview because if i can connect with this individual if I can message this individual, if this individual can see my profile and determine for themselves if I have the proper skill sets for that role, those are the things that are gonna allow you to cut through the noise, right? Because again, there's more supply of candidates than there are supply of jobs. So that means there's tons of people that are just hitting the apply button. But how many people are hitting the apply button how many people are then connecting with the recruiter or the director of human resources and then sending a tailored email or message, right? LinkedIn allows you to get all that intel and you can message them on that platform. So the idea is like use LinkedIn, not only just to apply for jobs, right? But utilize the information that you have that's public to then, you know, communicate with that individual, right? So you think about a job, there's a decision maker. There's somebody who has the decision to bring you in for an interview. There's also somebody who makes a decision on if we should hire you or not, right? So there's decision makers that are the gatekeepers, right? Unfortunately, if, I, if Andrew's the gatekeeper and there's a position available and he knows my skill sets, that's how business is one that's how jobs are are you know it's your network right and so building your network is something that you don't just do like just once right it's like hey i want to use linkedin i want to grow my network i want to connect with former colleagues i want to put 
my old job experience because I could, you know, people that see your profile, oh, he used to work at this company? No way. That's crazy. Maybe we should give him a shot. Maybe we should bring him in for an interview because I had a cousin who worked for that company, right? It's these small little connections that can give you the best shot at getting that interview, right? And if you think about it too, like he was saying, everyone's, there's all these people in ZipRecruiter and Indeed, and since LinkedIn's not that popular, when they do post on LinkedIn, maybe 10 to five people on here because it's not popular. So they're gonna look at these people, there's five of you guys, or people in this room, and if they look at all of our profiles, okay, compared to like, here's a resume, here's the stuff that they do, but it's, it's kind of like a 2D compared to if we yeah. see you on LinkedIn, it's like 3D, okay, that's your face. This is what you do. Here's your past stuff. Other people endorse the skills. Uh, just to sidetrack, I mean, I just looked up on Amazon San Bernardino, and then you come up with. Like, so these use it like right a here. use it like a search engine, guys. So he literally typed in the word Amazon San Bernardino, boom. And so LinkedIn has what's called a first degree connection, a second degree connection, and a third degree connection. A first degree connection is like, hey, I know Andrew. We're connecting. I'm a first degree connection. Maybe you're connected with Andrew. And when I see your profile, you're a second degree connection. Right, so they're like, oh wait, you know him? Oh, interesting. And then you have a third degree connection, which is you know him and he knows you. Oh, oh, third degree. Right, so like you'll be surprised if you've been in this business for years, my friend, you probably have trails of connections with people that are working at various right. companies, but yeah, you can't do, see but I, that. But you I can't, can't see, see that. It because it's been 15 years since I've done the business. I mean, True. I'm to help. But I guarantee you, other people that have declared that company and job classification on their LinkedIn, now you have a trace back to maybe see what they're doing, right? And so this is just an example Amazon San Bernardino. I can connect with the area manager. I can connect with the human resource manager. And the titles are all right there. They're the all headers. there. So what is yeah. the difference from the difference of mine? Uh, that's, uh, this is the same. A, I think he has like the ad. black version, so, so you might just LinkedIn have it white. Yeah, ad yeah. sponsor to be on top of that. It's the same thing. So as an example. They're the same. They're, you can pick whichever one. So as an example, guys, I just popped onto this person's page here. And very quickly, I could see this person has been at Amazon for eight years and they went to Cal State San Bernardino. Imagine if I went to Cal State San Bernardino and I connected with this person, we have rapport, we both attended the same university. Or maybe, hey look, Andrew has a couple of mutual connections. He has two mutual connections that are connected with this individual. So I could go, hey Amanda, I saw that you're connected with Andrew. Do you think you could make an introduction for me? Right, so the value of LinkedIn is not just hitting the apply button, it's like, what are you going to do with this information and how can you perform outreach? How can you be strategic in what you're doing to give you, again, the best shot at getting an interview? But at least that's something. It's, some, it's, a, it's a pinky in the door, right? Which is better than nothing, right? I haven't linked with, I haven't linked with anybody. Connect with them. So you can connect with them. You can also go back to, you can search up your high school and then all the alumni in your high school. Correct you can connect with those people and you'd be surprised where they're all, that person might be at a warehouse somewhere else, but if you're connected with him because we're friends, someone that, if Mateo is the person hiring and knows that person, but it's the second, was it second degree? I forgot. Yeah. Uh, now he's like, okay, well you're friends with him. You guys went mm -hmm. to the same school. It's yeah. all, like it's all connected. So if we go back to like how you're connected with me and how he's connected with me, if he's looking for a job, and he's the one hiring, and he, me and him are best friends. Yeah. Like, oh, you also know Andrew? We can okay, make cool. this like, connection, yeah. And so Andrew must be connected with people that he knows that are in that industry, and then I can probably vouch. He can just reach to me. Hey, do, well, what was your name? What, what was your name? Oh, my name's George. George, if, if George is the one looking, I know George, yeah, he, went, he worked with me at this place. He was really good at that. I'm looking for someone like that. Perfect, you guys are already friends. I kind of already trust him already. There's already a trust that's built that's like invisible through LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Totally guys. And so I think if there's any takeaways you can get from today is like, again, what are 99% of the job seekers doing and what are the 1% doing? Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you most people here aren't like going super aggressive on LinkedIn. They're here, they're applying in person, which there's nothing to say about that, but I, I can guarantee you if you 
do that. And you can do networking with people in human resources, people in recruiting, hiring managers, and you can start to develop good outreach skills. Hey, Andrew, I saw that you're hiring an inventory specialist. I've been in the business for 30 years. I'm located here in San Bernardino. I would love the opportunity to talk with you about the role and how I could be a good fit, right? Kind of just putting yourself out there, using the intel that LinkedIn will give you. I promise you guys, most job seekers aren't doing the extra second and third step. And again, it's all intel, right? Building your network, connecting with people you went to high school with, connecting to people you went to school with. Like you never know who might be hiring you never know who might know somebody who's hiring and that will give you the best chance of success for something that doesn't cost you anything right it doesn't cost you anything to put your profile together to like apply for jobs to send messages other than your time right so I think there's good ROI on your time yeah. especially if you guys are here for a couple hours right well just being here alone you can ask any one of these recruiters any one of these recruiters you can just say hey do you have a LinkedIn can I exactly. connect with you now you're connected with the school district, the sheriff. Correct. Just by asking them, hey, do you have a LinkedIn? Exactly. And it's, it's innocent. It's like, oh, yeah, let's connect. Now you're connected with them. So when somebody were to hire, 100%. hey, you connected with the, someone at the sheriff? Like, how do you know that person? They're not going to ask, hey, do you really know that person? It's just, there's a, what is social proof. The yeah. social proof allows it to, or allows you to get past like that first barrier to, yeah. hey, I kind of trust them already. All you gotta do is just ask. We've done it already. We've uh, hey, uh, do you have a? Are you guys on LinkedIn? Just you guys say on that. LinkedIn. Hey, is it cool if I connect with you on LinkedIn? Ninety-nine percent of recruiter is gonna be on LinkedIn if you ask recruiters. So what do we get? Do, is it like a? a, a it's a digital pro. Email? It's a digital profile. So everybody has a digital profile, yeah, yeah. and then you can you just connect with individuals. Mm -hmm. So no, I'll, yeah, I understand. So when I when I'm asking, can can we link? What am I what am I asking you? Your email. Um, no, 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 their, their name just your name. So you hey, just so think of it like Facebook. Like, I, hey, can I connect with you? What's your name on LinkedIn? Like FedEx. Okay, we're on the FedEx. So yeah, so great question. So co companies have accounts on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So like Amazon has an account, mm -hmm. right? And I could see all the employees at Amazon, mm -hmm. but people have accounts as well. So you oh, have yeah. company accounts and people accounts, right? You want to connect with as many people as possible because those are the actual humans, right? Those yeah. are the actual decision makers. And to Andrew's point, you, most of the recruiters here are going to be on LinkedIn. Like they, they go on LinkedIn because they know the best candidates are on LinkedIn, yeah. right? So you want to almost look at it from the company's perspective. Where are recruiters on there spending their time? What are they looking for? What is their like litmus test of like, you know, is this for, for me personally, like I could tell a lot about you by your LinkedIn profile, like mm -hmm. how much time you spent on it if you've actually added education, work experience, like in two seconds, I could tell, oh, this Andrew spent a couple, couple minutes, a couple hours. And that's actually a good sign for an employer. Like if somebody has a clean LinkedIn, it's almost like you have a nice suit at home. And it's kind of a weird Someone thing. Checking your, your social media They're checking your social, exactly. it's your professional social yeah. media. So like how you look on there is everything. What's and so like, who you follow, who you, who you follow yeah. And so like, it's, I cannot recommend it I enough. Have, I have a question. I mean, not to take it Yeah, yeah, guys, go ahead. Because I know you guys started earlier. I wish I would have been here earlier. Oh, you're good, okay. man. Um, like, I'm pretty sure you, somebody has asked that the numbers. Compared to Indeed, right? Because I'm hooked up with Indeed. Okay. I, I recently, like, you're, you're probably the first people that I actually heard, but I actually knew people that I want to give LinkedIn, but I, I just didn't know about it, right? Hmm. Um, what is it in regards to the numbers? Like, People getting jobs in LinkedIn compared to Indeed. What, 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 is there a difference? So funny question. I've actually heard. Sure answer it? Yeah, yeah, kinda. Know. I've actually heard that Indeed mm -hmm. posts their jobs on LinkedIn. They actually, yeah, they so do. if you post, if I'm an employer and I yeah. post a job on Indeed, you know what Indeed's doing? Oh, They're going to take that, charge you, and put it on LinkedIn because they know a lot of attention and high quality applicants are on LinkedIn. So if you ask me, I, from my experience, I've used Indeed, I've used ZipRecruiter, they're terrible. And I think the problem is, it's, you just, truthfully, there's too many candidates, too many subpar candidates. So subpar. I don't wanna be thrown in the bucket of Indeed. I want, I want you to see my LinkedIn profile and you make that decision for yourself. Well, I don't know that I can see, uh, um 
dealing with, uh, like I'm currently going through there right now, right, with the process. And they're like, a couple of jobs already came came through, right? And it's like, I just didn't take on the location, right? But it was like, when it came the money thing, well, we're gonna start you off right here, but it's gonna be based on this, you know? And then, half, some of this money's gonna go to them over here. Like, well, what, what do you mean? Like, that's my money. Yeah. I don't know, does, does LinkedIn do, do that too? No, no, no. But they take some of your money. So indeed, I guess the people that they connected me through is like an agency. Yeah, you're talking so about a staff agency. But it's that. another damn agency, okay. so I'm not even dealing with the company. Correct. Yeah. So I'm going to Phoenix, but they're like, no, you're not even going through us. So they're like, what do you mean? Like, like no, because they're advertising in Correct, Indeed, so correct. Doing indeed, but they're connecting me with like a third party. And so here's the cool part. If, the, if they're posting it and they have a business page, you could, you could say, hey, who, I, I'm going to, personally see who the CEO of the company is. I'm gonna see who the director of recruiting is. I don't need to go around an agency. I can, yeah. I can go straight to the source yeah. and I can connect with them and I can message them individually, right? Yeah, I kind of go into that you have more visibility. Like, right? Now I see it, it's me like, oh shit, like, so it's not for free, right? <laughs> You're gonna give me for the first six months and like, well, they decided to keep you then after that, that it becomes your money. Yeah. Yeah, but you, 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 you garnish my shit for six months. And I, I could give you guys an example, right? So look, Fontana Chamber of Commerce has a page, right? So I could, I'm gonna give them a follow. I could see who of my connections follow this page. Yeah, okay. That's Couple cool. of people, all right, cool. Here's the best part. I go under the people's tab, right? There's 10 people that are associated with this business, right? It's a business, right? So I'm a marketing guy. I wanna connect with the CEO. I wanna connect yeah. with the director of marketing. That's my decision maker, right? So very quickly I could see this person is the director of memberships. Hey, that's a good person to connect with, boom. Right, general manager, I could see, right? And I could see their posts, right? Are they promoting any jobs? They posted one month ago, two months ago, right? All this intel, just gathered it for free. I just connected with the director of memberships, right? Boom, all this intel, just throw me a company, guys. Literally, any company. What, what company comes to mind? What companies have you guys applied for before? I applied for Phoenix House. Try Phoenix House. Phoenix House of America. Phoenix it's House? <laughs> Is it a yeah, non-profit? It's a, no, it's not. No, it's a for-profit. Basically, it's a, it's a counseling. Uh, uh, Mental health? Is this it right here? Phoenix House, California? Yes. Okay, cool. So look, I got five connections that follow this page. So I could see who in my network yeah. follows this page. Helpful to know. I could go to people, right? 14 of the employees attended my university, Cal State Northridge. 34 employees, look, I'm just reading you what it says here. 34 employees work in Los Angeles, my city, right? I could see who the human resource specialist is, right? Let me go to their jobs, jobs. They have an operations manager, they're hiring right now, right? I can see the salary, I can easily apply, right? Oh, meet the hiring team, Barbara W. My friend, this is, uh, this is your hiring man. This is your decision maker. Yeah. Eh, I'm let me connect with her. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, looks like I have some mutual connections with this person. So Greg and Leslie know the, for you. Yeah. Know the So look, th this, is, this, is my, this is my decision maker for that job. She's, she's the first line of defense. How do you contact her? Can you literally just send a message? Hey, my name is such such. So I just connected her, so it's pending. If she accepts my connection request, they, they I, can, I can send her a message. I can say, hey, Damn. hey, notice that. You, you're hiring an operation specialist. Um, I'm here in Los Angeles. Would you want to chat maybe on Zoom or can I buy you a cup of coffee, right? So think about what you just did there. You made it easy for the recruiter yeah. to find a candidate, yeah. but you came to them, right? Yeah. It wasn't just you, here, let me put my resume in the stack and I'll see you later, right? It's I like, mean, definitely right now, be I mean, proactive. It's been three months, bro. Be, be proactive. The agency is like, am I moving or not moving? Because I'm processing the moving, right? They're like, oh boy, yeah, we still need to like, like, I went to the main dude, I had the Zoom meeting. The main dude, uh, uh, the director of the program, you, you got the job, you got you got the offer, it's yours. Shit, I'm ready to go. No, but we gotta do the, the background. Okay, it's fine, we gotta do the, the physical. Sure. Fine, we gotta do the, the, the urine test, the fucking drug thing. That's fine, I'm willing to, when can I go? Give me this up. I went two days later, got it done. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, have you met with the agency? Like, sir, like, like, like I'm dealing with you. No, you're not, you're dealing with these people. Ah, uh, I see. So that's kind of rabbit holes that you fall into when you yeah. apply to a job on Indeed. It's up, you want to have more control over yeah. your destiny, right? You don't want to just deal with a third party that 
again, it's it's already a, uh, you already have to go through a couple of layers for a job. Now you just add another layer if you're dealing with an agency, right? Also, if that person isn't active on LinkedIn, you at least know the name, so you can call them up. Hey, I'm looking for a barber. Or and Google. And then now now you can talk to them. Hey, Barbara, like I, and then it's like. You still have this job? I saw on LinkedIn, you guys still hiring for that operations analyst. Yeah. Have you guys of, filled the role yet? Instead of asking, oh, who does the hiring? It's like, now you're saying by you name. Know, like, yeah, oh, you Barbara, know exactly you must know Barbara. Yeah. Oh, okay, here, let me connect you. It's yeah. ideal. Sometimes you have to go work around it, but. Oh, that's a lot of quarters. What I was telling you is like, you know, what the brother is like, I'm literally going to that shit right now. It's yeah. Like, it's like, so front, you just give me a job. It's your company. But I gotta go through Andrew. Yeah. And Andrew's dragging his ass. Andrew, what's up with my damn job? <laughs> you know, but I can't contact you. You're like, no, it's up to Andrew. Yeah. So are we in the room? Like, like, what's up? Yeah. Are you? We already did everything you told me to do. And sometimes, like, people need a nudge, right? Like, maybe that. Twice already, bro. Andrew, what's up? What's my thing? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check. Yeah. Andrew, what's up? Andrew, what's up? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna check my nut this kid. Damn. See, at that point, I would even just plant, start yeah. start planting some new seeds. Start looking for some other yeah, opportunity. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know. Um, I would really treat this as like a, like, I don't know if you guys have done sales, but like getting a job is selling yourself. It's like prospecting, it's networking. Like the more you could lean into that, even if it feels uncomfortable for you, like I can guarantee you, like nobody's thinking about like using this tool to like get awareness, using this tool to get a back door, right? So yeah, that's kind of it. What time is it? You missed it. I missed it. It's all Sorry, right. again, we want to know you get it recorded. And just yeah, we got it all uh, recorded. Uh, do you guys have any other questions for us at all? And by the way, feel free to connect with us yeah. on LinkedIn too. What's like, your name? you guys have a card? Um, yeah, have a he business. has a card, but yeah, connect with us on LinkedIn here. Yeah, get one, bro. You guys out of LA, huh? Uh, I'm in LA. No, yeah. He's in uh, Fontana. But yeah, connect with connect with Andrew on LinkedIn, and then uh, he'll connect with. Oh, yeah. He'll connect with us. But yeah, use LinkedIn, guys. I'm I'm telling you, um, we're really passionate about it. Got him into working for the San Bernardino Valley College. Again, two weeks, yeah. this guy was yeah. on LinkedIn. Somebody was hitting That's him cool, up bro. for a job. That's cool, Somebody man. was hitting him up because they typed in videographer, Victorville, no. enter, right? No, that one I was connecting. I was, I just searched marketing directors, uh -huh. local, 20, 30 mile radius, and I connected with all the marketing yep. directors. And then he hit you up, right? And then he looked at my profile. Oh, you do TikTok videos, you do videography. Okay, well, you seem more qualified and you're on LinkedIn already. I kind of trust you already because no one's on here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's professional. So let me message you. You can message me directly. Hey, can you send me your profile? I looked at your... Yeah. Or, Basically, yeah. his profile gave him all the information and confidence that he needed to initiate a message. Yeah. Right? And sometimes, like, we can't guarantee a job. We can't guarantee, like, a deal. But, like, if you can get more at-bats, if you can get more interviews, if you can get more meetings that will increase your chance of success, right? It just, that's what you have to push, right? So we're here to help. Just connect with us on LinkedIn and thank you guys for coming out. Yes, man.